The third and final day of what has been, as always, a spectacular Rally Finland. Four stages and just over 45 kilometres is what stands between rally leader Elvin Evans and his and Wales' first ever Rally Finland victory. Back on familiar soil today, the morning loop consisting of a run through the Lauka stage and then Ruimaki, both of which are repeated in the afternoon. Oik Tanak came into the day trailing Evans by 9.1 seconds, but all was not lost, the Estonian going fastest on the opening stage of the day. Craig Breen in third, who was the leader of the rally on day one, made a small mistake overshooting a junction and choosing instead to play it safe and get the car turned around in a way that carried no risk. Some time was lost, but his podium position still secure. I had a, a little spin at the junction at the end of the stage, I just had to do a, a 360. Nothing, uh, nothing too serious, but I probably could have fared it into the junction, but uh, well, it was to spin around and uh, not, uh, not do anything silly. Sebastian Ogier, who had picked up a one-minute time penalty for not fastening his helmet strap securely on Saturday, now has no competition from behind and is too far back to reel in anyone ahead. He was simply consolidating his fifth position and on a massive tyre save this morning, ready for a big push through the power stage. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we have uh, big gaps around us, so the only target is power stage. So. Just drive through this one and uh, try to focus on the power stage. Evans had an answer for Tanak's early pace on stage 17 to go fastest by three and a half seconds. His lead now stood at 12.2 with just two stages left to run. Yeah, it was all right. It just felt really clean, to be honest. Nothing really uh, too, too wild. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that, obviously. But um, yeah, still, they're tricky enough, you know, these two. So it's all still to do. The penultimate stage of Rally Finland and what a return to the sport it has been for Esa Pekka Lappi. Running a privately entered Toyota Yaris WRC, the Finn clearly hasn't lost any of his speed or hunger on course for fourth place ahead of Ogier. I made one, one mistake, I went slightly off the line on one, one tight corner but otherwise it was really good stage, really clean one with good rhythm so I, yeah, I am pretty pleased. Just the power stage remained and sadly Kali Rovampera chose to retire from the rally after nursing a back injury from his off on day two. Adrian Formo meanwhile brought his first time to Finland to a spectacular conclusion. The stage starts out fast and flowing before getting technical towards the end. The Frenchman was not on the pace but the signature dish of this stage is the enormous jump at the end. Formo travelled an incredible 68 metres on his way to seventh overall, just behind his teammate Gus Greensmith. Yeah, the goal was to, to finish the, the, the Wally especially, and uh, we take every, all the experience we needed to take, honestly. It's, uh, it was all, there was a lot of things which was completely new for me uh, on the Wally. It was new with Alex. First car, first time with this car here. No test, so there is a lot of things, so honestly I'm happy to be at the end, uh, there is no mistake, so we are here, the car is fully complete, so so yeah, thank you M-Sport for the, for the opportunity, it was a really good learning for me. That big tyre save from earlier on in the day proved to be in vain for Sebastian Ogier. Engine troubles in the power stage meant no extra points, but he was confirmed fifth overall, just behind Lappi in fourth. Yeah, I don't know, the engine just stopped and uh, I think uh, power is not also not there. A good weekend for Craig Breen, confirmed in third overall, making it three podium finishes in a row for the Irishman, while Oik Tanak secured second, ensuring a strong haul of manufacturer points for Hyundai. But up at the front, Elvin Evans did the double to take the power stage victory and the win to become the first ever Welshman to do so in Finland. A monumental career moment for him and co-driver Scott Martin, their final winning margin 14.1 seconds. Yeah, uh, pretty good. And, and this one feels good, you know, in the, in the way that we managed to do it as well, obviously. Struggled a lot in, in Estonia, uh, made some changes to the car in the test and, and then came and found some confidence pretty early on. Um, had some good rhythm, you know, from an early road position on, on Friday and then managed to take uh, the fight to the Hyundai boys on Saturday. It feels, uh, it feels pretty good now and 
you know, a big thanks to the team and I'm happy to, to give them this one on their home rally. And that means we are done for 2021 on gravel at least. Just two tarmac rallies remain and Evans now trails OJ in the championship by just 24 points. The fight for third is raging. Neuville on 130, Rovan Perra 129 and a good weekend for Tanak sees him on 128. Up next, Rally Spain in just two weeks' time.